Hi everyone. What we're going to do today is make this image of a blue unicorn in a nice landscape. And over here, you'll see that you've got two layers. The horse layer and the background layer. There's also another layer, a white horse, for anyone who wants to use it. And all of these come from Pixabay. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is select the horse layer and you do that just by clicking on it. Then we're going to go over here to our tools. These are the tools that you use to change your image. We're going to choose this one here and this is called the quick selection tool. A little link comes up here to a tutorial. If you want to learn more about it, click on learn how and it will teach you more about the quick selection tool. Once you've selected the quick selection tool, all you need to do is click on this button here, select subject. And you'll notice it selects the horse for us. Once you've done that, click on this button, select and mask. And you'll notice that just by clicking two buttons, we've managed to get the horse almost taken away from the background. We need to do a little bit more to it. There's a little bit here we need to remove and here and the hair hasn't worked very well. So I'm going to show you how to fix those. We're going to start with this tool. Again, it's a quick selection tool, but before we click on the image with it, we're going to change it to minus. So I'll click on minus, and then down here, I'm just going to click on this area and drag a little bit, just to remove most of it. Don't worry about all of it, just most of it will do. And then I'm going to do a tiny little click here, just to remove some of that. If it goes too far like this, you just want to go to edit, undo. Okay, so how do we fix all these horrible edges? Well, we do that with this magic brush here. This is called the Refine Edge Brush and it's fantastic for fixing hair or anything that's kind of fuzzy on the edges. Trees, leaves, hair, anything like that. Okay, we're going to move it over here. It needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go up here where I changed my brush size and make it round about 30. And then watch what happens. If I click and drag over the edge of the hair, notice that it removes any of those nasty edges. And it gives me a really nice effect of the hair kind of fading off into the background. And as I click around the edges and let go, you'll see that the more I click on it, the better it gets. So you just want to keep clicking over the edge until you're happy with it. Okay, we're then going to click down here on the edge of the tail. Now it's quite hard to see what's happening here. So we're going to go up here and we're gonna to choose to see it on a white background. And that makes it easier for me to go and fix this bit here. We don't need to worry too much about this bit because this is going to be behind a rock. So we're really concentrating on the bits that are going to be above the rock. Now we're going to click down here just to get a little bit of space there. And just on the back of the legs to bring back the hair there. Now you might notice there's a little bit of colour there that we don't want. You'll see that if I keep clicking here, I can bring back even more of the hair just by clicking and dragging a little bit. Okay, but we don't want that color and it's easier to see if I go back to black. You'll see that there's little bits of color here and there that are causing a bit of a problem. To get rid of those, all I need to do is click on this button here. It's a bit of a long word, decontaminate colors. That means it's going to take away any of the colours behind the hair. And if I click on that, you'll see we get a really nice result. Once that's done, we're going to go down here where it says Output 2 and we're going to say New Layer. And you'll see now we've got our horse on the background. 